Hi and welcome to another one of our Behind the Scenes at the Bridge Church videos. Uh, behind me you can see the Bridge to the Broken, brand new ministry. Let's go and find out a bit more about that. Well, I'm joined here uh, with Aidan Curran, who is the sort of driving force behind the new outreach programme from the Bridge Church. It's called Bridge to the Broken. He's also here with his lovely son, Reese and beautiful wife, Gillian. Thanks for that. Uh, almost scripted. But Aidan, tell us a bit about Bridge to the Broken. What, what's that all about in a nutshell? Well, I mean, over the last 10 years, I have uh, walked on the streets with men and women with life control and problems. Um, mainly helping them um, get into different rehabs all over the country and over as far as Ireland. But we, we, we had a great idea of using this to reach the, 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 the people in the, the community of Irvine, Kilwin and, and Stevenson, Salkholz and Adrossen. Well, I'm here with Pastor Mark. Uh, tell us a bit more about this sponsored run for Bridge to the Broken. What's that all about, Mark? Craig, I think it's a really brilliant idea. Uh, Aidan came to us a while ago and says, I'm, I want to do a marathon and help raise money for the, the new Bridge to the Broken ministry. And uh, we sat down and had a chat about it. I thought, this, is, this could be so much more than just Aidan doing a run. It could be a church-wide event that really could be our major outreach for, for Easter and the run-up to Easter. So what we're doing is Aidan and Gillian have worked out a route that's going to take them around all the the most deprived housing schemes in the area and the three towns, Cowan and Irvine. And uh, he's, going to, he's going to have uh, rest stops in between. We're going to have... Uh, other people running a mile with them. We're going to have the YUC people, uh, or, the, or the teenagers, doing maybe six or eight miles. And uh, on the last mile, the 26 mile, we're going to have all of the kids' church on Salkoats Prom walking the last mile with Aidan. And uh, I think it's a great chance to get involved, you know, raise some money for a very worthwhile initiative and, uh, you know, get the church together and doing something. So afterwards, we'll have a bit of a party, a big outreach. We've, we're going to try and book a marquee uh, tent and, you know, have live music and clowns and face painting and, you know, really have a blast, you know. So I think it's going to be a very tired Aiden at the end of the day, but he's going to feel real good about himself because it'll be a very worthwhile thing. Does it build more confidence in you, the fact you know the whole church is behind it? Oh, definitely. Definitely, because myself and Gillian don't want to be um, like a one-man band. Um, what has really encouraged us is that there's a driving force from the church behind us, pushing us on and encouraging us, and, and it makes us be more determined to, to see this true. Can anyone get involved in this? That's the big question. Can I get my running kit on and do like maybe 10 yards? Anybody can get involved in it. Um, we have set a route up. Um, through the housing schemes from Adrossen right through to Irvine and back again. And there's different points where people can enter. Mm -hmm. um, they can join in for one mile, two miles, five miles, ten miles, and you can even run the whole distance. They can walk, they can hop, they can dress up, they can do whatever they want. Do the whole charity. Just the whole thing. We're very much into bringing the message of faith, hope and love to people. So there's a lot of people out there that are struggling, that are lonely, that are looking for answers. And, you know, I believe that when you find Jesus, you do find the answer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these events give us, you know, uh, uh, gives the church a chance to really get together and do something collectively. And uh, I think that I'm just excited about the possibilities, you know, in the run up, especially the run up to Easter. You have done a marathon, I believe, yeah, in, in the past. Yep. How long did it take you? It took me too long, actually. No, how long did it take you, Mark? Tell us. It took me, I've done three marathons. Was that about four days or something? Yeah. I've did the, the Glasgow Marathon twice, and I've did the London Marathon. And a good runner never tells his time. So that's what they say, yeah, failing to prepare is preparing to fail, etc. Yes, yes. <laughs> Unless you've got a really good time, then you tell everybody. Do you think I could maybe race you for 100 yards? Yeah, I'll definitely be walking the last mile, that's for sure. Well, I've got my spikes looked out, I'm ready to go, are you? Yes. Why don't we have a wee warm-up even now, OK, last one at the car. Well, it's early days for Bridge to the Broken, but we'll keep you fully updated on the developments of that and what's to come. And uh, Also concerning the sponsored run, jog, whatever you want to call it, uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Bridge-church.com if you want to find out more details. But in the meantime, I better uh, dust down the old running spikes.